This is a Saturday morning TV log from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to another Saturday morning TV log and this time around it's Drag Pack brought to us by Hanna Barbera and Southern Star. Hello again, I'm Duel, and this is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews, but you can also call me the Big D. So, let's talk about one of the most forgotten tunes of the 1980s, Drag Pack. Drag Pack is an animated television series about the classic monsters that, of course, were direct from Universal, fighting for good. The show originally premiered on CBS in September of 1980, which its 40th anniversary was just not so long ago. <clears throat> Though Hanna Barbera did produce the show, but however, in most of the episodes in the credits, it was listed as Hanna Barbera Pty Limited, which was the Australian subsidiary, which would later be known as Southern Star, who would later go on to produce most of the episodes of CBS Story Break, as well as the Baron St. Bears A series and the Teen Wolf cartoon, which look for a Saturday morning TV log coming up in, I believe, let me see, in a couple more weeks. In a couple more weeks. Anyway. Now, the show focuses on three young men, well, who are... I have to, t well, try and, well, undo the wrongdoings of their ancestors as they become a superhero group known as the Drak Pack. And together they are Frankie, Howler, and Drak Jr. Now, they are actually ordinary humans, but whenever trouble arises, they strike. Their right hands again and shout, WACKO! And thus they become their monstrous form. Strack Jr., of course, vampire. Frankie, a Frankenstein monster. Howler, a werewolf. They use their amphibious flying car, which is called the Draxter. They get word on their missions from someone who has the same alias name as I do, Big D. But, of course, that would be Dracula, Count Dracula, who happens to be Drac's great-great-uncle. And he also has a pet spider that often gets injured while he is giving the team their orders. Each week, the Drac Pack heads out to face against various his baddies. Most notably, give me a second... Now, sorry if I use my tablet to show you, so just in case you've never seen the show. Anyway. Most notably, this guy. This is Dr. Dredd. He's the... Now, he's the villain of the show, and he leads a group of major bad goonies. Yeah. Who happen to be... Let me sh see if I can show them out here if I can, if you don't mind. It's going to take a second. First one is Toad, whom he always punishes a lot. Yeah, kind of almost like what Duke Igdorn does to Toad Ward on Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears, which that come out years later. Look for a Saturday morning TV log that come up later on in December. Yeah, but except differently, with a fly sword, not a catapult, okay? Then there's Fly, yeah. Who, yeah, actually walks, but he can fly as well. Let's see. Let's 
And then there's Mummy Man, who has, who just grumbles a lot, and well, he proves to be the strength of this here group. <laughs> and finally, Vampira, who evidently has a bit of a crush on Drek. Anyway, together they form Ogre, the organization of generally Ryan Enterprises. Well, with but the drag pack is always there to stop Dread and his goons every time. Anyway, <clears throat> the show I've I've actually seen on YouTube. I've seen every episode. Now, I don't have the series on DVD, though, which I'll get to that in a bit. Now, the show ran for, for only one season, but had a total of 16 episodes produced and aired. And I've seen about, and I've seen all of them. They're not too bad. Drag Pack may not be one of the best, but it is a spooktacular cartoon for you to watch if you want to watch something really spooky at during this month of October. But anyway... Yeah, I think Drag Pack is easily an underrated tune. Nobody talks about this show much, but hey, I thought I'd bring this up. Anyway, Drag Pack's not too bad. I think once you give it a shot, I think you should give it a shot. Anyway, but the show has never been seen again. However, it has been shown Boomerang, but unfortunately in different countries, though. It has never been shown Boomerang in the U.S., not even on Cartoon Network. But however, if let me get back to my main source. Let's see. Oh yes. In 2011, however, the show actually got released on DVD by Visual Entertainment, which you can still find on Amazon for a pretty reasonable price for maybe about less than ten dollars or less tops. So you can get it for pretty cheap if you're interested in this show. But anyway, Drag Pack is pretty good. John Stevenson, who is no stranger to Hanna Barbera, does the opening narration for the intro. But anyway, here's our characters. Voicing Drag Jr. is Jerry Dexter, who I'm familiar with his voice since I've heard his voice in various cartoons. Most notably, Shazam. And the Aquaman cartoon from Filmation, where he voiced Aqualad. He also voiced Gulliver in Han Barbera's The Adventures of Gulliver. And Alan on Josie and the Pussycats. Let's see. And he also voiced lots of other characters on other shows. And the Funky Phantom and C-Lab 2020. And Ted on Goober and the Ghost Chasers, which will also be spotlighted as a Saturday morning TV log later on. Let's see. As well as all oh, there's so many Fang Face and let's see. Wow, so many of them. The list goes on. So anyway, yeah, I'm familiar with this voice. Voice in Frankie is William Calloway. Uh, who I'm pretty sure I've heard his voice before. Yep, he's done voices in various cartoons as well, including uh, The Challenge of the Super Friends, The Canuga Cats, Let's see, and Foo Fur and DuckTales. Oh, he's in. Yeah, and he was the layer voice of Aquaman in the Super Friends after. Uh, after Norman Alden left. Uh, but anyway, yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, and, and it says Calway also voices Howler. Now, I forgot to point out the Drag Pack has some special powers. Drag Jr. has flight, telekinesis, changing shape, and walking on walls. Unlike most cartoon vampires, Drag may may assume a variety of forms, although he favors a bat, of course. Now, Frankie, of course, has superhuman strength 
and can emit electrical charges from the bolts on in his neck whenever he gets angry. Yeah. And Howler, of course, has an ultrasonic howl and super breath. Yes. So anyway, that's really cool. Count Dracula was voiced by Alan Oppenheimer, who's done ma ma main voice acting work. Of course, he would, well, he had recently done work for Filmation's Mighty Mouse cartoon the previous year, and of course he'd later go on to do voice acting work in on other shows like Black Star and Flash Scoring. Well, he did that the previous year, too, as well as the voice of Skeletor on He-Man. Hans Conrad, who is another well-known voiceover at Hanna-Barbera, voiced Dr. Dredd, while another familiar voiceover, Toad, the original voice of a certain Scooby-Doo, voiced Toad, and the same one with Fly. Chuck McCann does the vocal effects for Mummy Man, and Vampira is voiced by Julie McWhorter, who, if I'm not mistaken, Yes, who recently voiced a sorry and friendly little ghost, that's of course Casper, in Casper and the Angels. Of course, she also did voice act in other cartoons as well, including Genie, the Hanna-Barbera take of I Dream of Genie, and Bubbles in Jabberjaw. Let me see. Oh yeah, and the Little Prince in The Adventures of the Little Prince cartoon. So anyway, yeah, this has a pretty good voice acting cast. I like them. But anyway, this show may be short-lived and rarely remembered, but I would say give Drag Pack a shot. I think you'll really like it. It's very fun. But anyway, what did you, well, have you ever seen Drag Pack? If so, please tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, this, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next Saturday morning when I bring to you a Saturday morning TV log of one of the many shows to possibly follow in the footsteps of Scooby-Doo Clue Club from 1976. Thanks for watching. Now, if you like this, see these other Saturday morning TV logs I did, and these are one I did last October. In the upper left-hand corner is my TV Saturday morning TV log of Filmation's The Groovy Ghoulies, which I'll probably watch again this year. The upper right-hand corner is my Saturday morning TV log for the Beetlejuice cartoon, and the bottom left-hand corner is my Saturday morning TV log of the Ghostbusters from 1975, a live-action series, not to be confused with the movie we got in 1984. And the right-hand corner is in the bottom is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, Sarah, then I'm your guy. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget, I'll be doing my first ever horror live stream tonight at 7 o'clock central. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.